morning everybody it is October 6th and welcome and I just wanted to share with you that I finished this um, rather statuous well handsome longhorn bull uh, I found out in the plains uh, of Virginia uh, which is it's close to Warrington um, kind of southwest of DC um, anyway, I really enjoyed painting him. I loved the way he paused from eating and uh, was just looking out over his, oh, 45 or so cows with a, with a few uh, steers in the mix. But sometimes you, you think you're finished with the painting and you're not really finished with it because I stood back and I noticed the horizon line was higher, not by too much on this side than over here. And I, I, that can happen, but if the bull was not standing where he's standing, then you'd be okay with it. Because it, it probably, what happens is the tree line probably goes kind of zigzaggy over here and it may have a break behind it with more snow and so forth and then you have a tree line that's a little closer but for the purpose of the painting it doesn't work that way so I had to lower the tree line in here and then to make the sky really cold I made a I used a little bit of maroon I don't know what it is right now but anyway I used a little bit of deep maroon, just a tad, uh, with my blues and grays and, and uh, titanium white, and uh, made the sky look very cold. And then the snow, I put hints of ultra, well, not ultra, uh, burn umber, and some blues and and of course topped it with some titanium white because well if you know anything about cattle or any wild animal the snow is not going to be pristine white um and then i used a pellet knife on the hay the hay was just extremely thick i don't know how they eat it but i guess they do but um anyway i noticed it was just really ultra thick but I think I achieved what I set out to achieve, and uh, he definitely has that look. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you again next Thursday.